Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Joseph Interdonado. I'm a senior account uh, executive here at Solid Experts, and I'm in company with uh, one of our solution engineers from our automation team, Christopher Kudo. Say hello, Christopher. Hi, everyone. Uh, nice to see that we have a, a great group of attendees uh, present with us today. And uh, during this webinar, uh, we're going to be looking at automation with the SWIT product configurator. Uh, I'd just like to maybe mention that uh, SWID uh, is a uh, partner of SolidWorks uh, or has been a partner of SolidWorks since 2001 and it's a dedicated solution for the wood uh, working market. It uh, has a th uh, five specific segments uh, that it, uh, it uh, relates to, uh, being SWID, uh, one being SWID design, which has a seamless integration with uh, SolidWorks. We have SWID CAM as well that manages CNC machines and more. SWID nesting for parts optimization, optimization, pardon me, and waste reduction. And SWID center, connectivity with databases and product configuration. And the least, we have also SWID beam and wall, which is for the timber and frame construction, but we won't be talking about that today. So having said this, uh, Christopher, I'll give you the lead and uh, let's uh, dive into a SWIT product configurator. Excellent, thanks Joseph. Uh, can you guys see my screen, Just the, the PowerPoint? Yes, we can. All right, perfect. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the automation uh, of SWIT. So an overview of this presentation uh, I'm going to start by explaining what is SWOOD, its different uh, components, and how to use them. And then I'm going to dive deeper into how we can automate SWOOD to fit your company's specific needs. So SWOOD is the complete software suite made by Epicad, and it's made to speed up all of your woodworking projects. So this fits different project types, be it uh, in the kitchen, bathroom, for a yacht, for furniture. It could be uh, in vehicle equipment or shop fitting or many more applications of woodworking projects. So wood is composed of uh, three main modules, which I'll be talking about today. So the wood design, uh, which covers the design portion. Uh, SWID cam, which covers manufacturing, which also has an add-on called SWID nesting, uh, which interfaces with your CNC machine, and SWID center, which is the automation of SWID design. So SWID is a fully integrated into the SOLIDWORKS environment, and it has smart functions that allow for easy adjustability and parametrization. This allows you to configure products that are the same but different with ease. So for example, if you look at this uh, frame that's on the screen, we can see uh, the doors could be parametrized. We could change the number of hinges based on the height of our model. We could change the number of shelves, the material, and many more things. So a standard library of connectors can be added uh, to your library. And this is drag and dropped into the model for easy uh, use. All of the library parts uh, have drag and drop functionality. So the panels can also be machined using uh, SWID cam or SWID nesting. And this has a full associativity between geometric entities of your SOLIDWORKS models and the machining necessary. Uh, you can also have reports and labels generated for your panels, and uh, we'll go a bit deeper into this further on. So to start off, SWID Design is created with seven different libraries. So these libraries include uh, frames, which will be the, out, the outer frame of your models, SWID boxes, which are parametric models uh, inserted into your SWID frames. 
panels, edge bands, profiles, so for molding, uh, connectors, and materials, uh, which include different parameters that you can modify, including uh, the pricing, the cut type, the grain direction, the thickness. There are many options, all uh, specific to the wood industry. So here in this demo, we can see that we have the SWID library, which is located on the right-hand side of the screen, completely integrated into SOLIDWORKS as an add-on. And in this frame, I have five uh, different panels. So if I go ahead and edit the frame, we can see there's three main sections, the size, the material, and extra parameters. So by modifying the size of my frame here, the width, the height, and the depth, we're going to see that the panels are going to adjust automatically to the sizes I entered. Next, I can also link uh, parameters to custom properties within the SOLIDWORKS model. And this allows me to customize my SWID frame. A SWID box is a parametric model which is inserted into the SWID frame. A script can be written to automatically change the dimensions based on the options selected and the space which is, it is inserted into. So here I'm inserting a SWID box and I'm going ahead and selecting the volume in which I want to insert it. And we can see that it automatically adjusts to the size of the frame and I have the option to adjust different parameters, which I programmed into the SWID box. So next, a panel in SWID is defined by a SOLIDWORKS model with a SWID material associated uh, to it. Uh, we can also add edge bands to our panels, either before creation or afterwards, as I'm doing in this case. And they are added to the model with a simple drag and drop uh, function. So these edge bands hold various parameters, like its profile, its color, uh, the cost, and a range of other parameters. Here we can see that I have a panel uh, with a material added onto it. And I have the machinings available, which have been brought through from my SWID box. So connectors can be defined as a simple connector with this various uh, library that's available, uh, a component pattern, or a component item. The connectors also have a script element in order to parametrize it to uh, the needs of your company. So for example, I can drag and drop these connectors into the model. And we'll see that it imports the SOLIDWORKS components for the connector, as well as the machining necessary in the associated panels. So now if I go ahead and edit the depth of my frame, we'll see that the connectors will automatically 
adjust themselves to the new depth. And this is done through uh, the parameterization and script that I've created for this uh, co composite cr connector. Next, we have the materials library. So in the materials library, we can give it a name, a description, and then select from three different material types. So a panel, a laminate, or a compound material, which can be a combination of the two. Uh, next, there are other parameters available uh, that will come out in your reporting, like the cost. And we can also add extended properties uh, to define specific elements that your company may use. So by adding the material to my panels, we can see here that uh, because it's a material with grain, I have the grain direction available on my panels. So this is the base of creating a frame uh, from the beginning to the end in uh, SWID design. Uh, next, I'm going to be talking about the uh, SWID box. So in this SWID box, I have uh, removable shelves and uh, when you create a SWID box, you want to think about uh, what you're automating. So in this case, we are automating the removable shelves as well as the uh, machinings that are associated. So the first thing to do when automating your SWID box is to think uh, what needs to be created in SOLIDWORKS. So this is the components as well as the sketches needed to create the machinings. Uh, next, I'm going to go into the SWID box definition. And here I can create uh, various parameters. So each with different types, depending on the specific uh, use within SOLIDWORKS or your script. So here we also have two different uh, types of variables. So these ones that are grayed out are not exposed, so they're used uh, in the calculations. And those that are exposed will be user entry variables. Finally, we have to link our variable to SOLIDWORKS and decide if this is a driving parameter or one that simply retrieves information from the model. So inside the script editor, uh, we can see on the left-hand side the different parameters I've created. And on the right-hand side, uh, the script that has been created for this SWID box. So there's some uh, mathematic functions. Uh, this here is an error message, and you can also suppress, uh, unsuppress different functions. Next, inside the machining definition, this is linked to my sketches for the model. And now I can select uh, the parameters that I want to change to modify my SWID box. So for example, if I say I want 32 holes, we'll see this error message appears because uh, they're going outside of the SWID box. And with a simple few clicks, I can change uh, the type of 
drilling, so from the range to three holes, and decide that I want uh, three panels. So here I have three holes per shelf. So next, uh, we're going to talk about SWID cam. So SWID cam and SWID nesting are used, uh, can be used in conjunction with each other. Uh, the SWID nesting is an add-on to the SWID cam. So within SWID cam, we have uh, the ability for tool selection in conjunction with our machine. We can also do simulation with removed material. And this allows us to uh, improve our efficiency and correct for errors so we don't make errors on our actual uh, parts. And you can also add uh, all the tools of your shop into the tooling library of SWIDCAM and develop uh, smart functions that can be pre-applied to your panels. So this allows for future holes and grooves uh, that are made in the panels uh, from SWID boxes or connectors or uh, just manual uh, changes that you've made to be updated into CAM. Uh, so you only need to do that work once. SWID CAM also has uh, post processing integrated. So this transforms the simulations you've done in SWID CAM into your machine language. And you have the ability to create the nesting of your panels uh, based on your needs. So this could be based on projects, it could be based on certain items, or just specific parts. Uh, if you need to reprocess for corrections, uh, this can all be done. So now we've seen uh, SWID design and SWID CAM, but you may be thinking, how do I create my project? So let's say uh, you have an architectural plan. Uh, the SWID design layout integration helps you to uh, use your pre-configured frames and a layout sketch to make your interior design easy to implement. So here, in this example, I have a base sketch uh, with some dimensions. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a copy of one of the frames I've previously created. So I just need to select three, uh, four points. So the, the origin. Uh, the X distance, the Y distance, and the Z distance. This is all based on sketch entities. And when I hit OK, it'll implement that frame into my assembly with the proper uh, dimensions. So let's say uh, your plan changes and you need to modify some dimensions. You can go into your master sketches and change these dimensions. And when you rebuild your model, all your frames and panels will have changed sizes to accommodate for those corrections. So an, an important tool that comes both with SWID Design and SWID CAM is the reports feature. And this allows you to export uh, project data, such as the stock data, your materials and hardware. Uh, and this can be in various formats. And there are also other uh, documents that are shared uh, with SOLIDWORKS. So here on this diagram, we can see that I can create uh, SOLIDWORKS drawings, and these can be exported in uh, the format that I wish. I can also have a 3D PDF or e-drawing of my assembly. I can export the saw cut list 
or uh, custom images that I may need. And this is all exported into an HTML format. So you can have a web report, or this can be post-processed into an Excel document uh, or a PDF. So this is the suite of uh, SWOOD. So SWOOD Design and SWOOD Cam. Uh, but now we'll talk about how SWOOD can be automated to fit your company's needs. So one of the strengths of SWOOD Design is its parametric behavior. So this includes SWOOD boxes, as I've previously discussed, as well as connectors. But this parametric behavior can be pushed even further using SWOOD Center. And the goal of SWOOD Center is to be able to par parametrize your frames and uh, everything that is inside it, be it uh, panels, edge bands, SWOOD boxes. Uh, so you can create like a, a product configurator. So this here is the interface for SWOOD Center. On the left-hand side, you would have uh, your user interface that you'll create through your programming. And on the right-hand side, you have your test environment. Uh, so when you're going through tests, you'll see um, the result for all your variables. Uh, this will help you with your troubleshooting. So here in this example, I'm going to use SWOOD Center, and I want to uh, parametrize or drive this model to have these different uh, joint types. So here in this picture, we can see I have the sides first. I can also uh, want to program it to have the transoms first or to have a miter cut and have the connectors change accordingly. So here in SWOOD Center, I can change uh, the overlapping strategy based on my interface. And we can see that in just a few seconds, the model will update uh, to the given configuration we're looking for. So if I change the view type, we can see our connectors inside the model. And if I change the overlap strategy to a miter cut, we'll see that I have a miter cut joint as well as biscuits in the corners. So here we have different parameters we can use in SWOOD Center. So these are like the SWOOD box. However, uh, we also have this additional object parameter to link SWOOD boxes, panels, or other SWOOD Center models. And if I open up the script, we can see that the, uh, the script editor is the same as uh, for SWOOD boxes. So one of the benefits of using uh, SWOOD to automate your designs is that it has this structured language uh, to automate your designs. So if you have multiple people working uh, within your company, they just have to be uh, SWOOD proficient as opposed to uh, the standard SOLIDWORKS way of uh, automating your designs where uh, people can work in all sorts of different methods and it becomes really difficult to track uh, what has been done. So in this next example, I have uh, an example that we had made for one of our clients. And this frame is automated using SWOOD Center and it has more options integrated. So when you're automating a frame, it's important to 
decide uh, which features you want to automate and how far you want to go with the automation. And this can be done in uh, steps. So here in uh, this frame, the design, design decision was made to not integrate uh, the SWOOD box into the SWOOD Center menu. So here I can modify uh, whether this is a top frame or a bottom frame. Uh, so here I chose the top frame and within a few seconds it'll change. So here next I can select uh, what type of top it'll have. So I have uh, the selection transoms or a fixed top or an open top. So in this case, I've selected the fixed top. And uh, this SWID box has been made in conjunction with a SWID box. So by having this checked, I can change the strategy for my uh, doors and fronts. So here I have an inlaid front. I can also have a semi-inlaid front, so it's inlaid on the side, uh, but overlaid on the top and bottom. And I also have access to uh, all the gaps around my doors. So here I'm adding a 10 millimeter gap on the bottom, and we can see that that gap has been uh, added in. So now I'm going to modify the SWID box, and that can be done in the features of SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to edit my imported SWID box, and here I have my uh, interface that has been made for this SWID box. So I'm going to start by selecting how many horizontal dividers I want. So I'll go ahead and select two, and then I can select if I want a front or a door uh, for that first section. And I can also have it, so by default, it automatically splits it in equal parts, but I can also manually select how wide I want that section to be. So next in the lower half, I'll add a door with windows. And I'll say that I want two doors. And in a few seconds, this updates, and we see that we now have uh, the desired model. So when I go ahead and validate this, So here I have uh, my final uh, frame that has been automated with SWID Center and with SWID boxes integrated. So to summarize, uh, SWID has many possible automation strategies for your design needs. And it also has uh, CAM abilities that are integrated into your design to speed up your design to production process. Thank you for listening to the presentation. Uh, do you have any questions? No, I'm very well, uh, Christopher, thank you. Uh, great presentation. I'm getting a lot of thumbs ups from the attendees uh, this afternoon. Um, and I invite all the attendees, uh, should they be interested in this solution, to reach out to their uh, account managers and they'll be glad to uh, set up a personalized presentation uh, with respect to the needs of the companies involved. Thank you very much and uh, come back again. Excellent. Thank you very much everyone.